I mean, I love everything about Lamar. Welcome to an LD Flea Production. What's good, YouTube? It's me, LD Flea. I'm back with another video, you feel me? Part two. Two videos in one day. I'm trying to bang these out, you feel me? With Jason. Back at it again. Make sure you like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. If you don't subscribe, I'm beating your ass. No cap. So subscribe. So, but anyway, today's video, well, in this video, we're just going to be giving some advice for incoming uh, college students. Freshman, transfer, whatever it may be. If you need some college advice. This is the video for you. This is the video for you. I'm going to put some information out there. I go to Rowan, so this is specifically like my advice if you're coming to Rowan or just my experiences from Rowan. I go to UMass Amherst, you know, it's a big school known for partying. I've seen a little bit. Corona kind of fucked up my shit, but you know, I'm going back soon. So this is everything I'm about to tell you guys is from what I learned in a couple months, but this will help you guys. This is some stuff I wish I learned before going to college. Just want to help you guys, put you guys on game. So you guys can live your best lives what college is about living your best life and experience and stuff so you know this is the video for you exactly all right you want to go first first piece of advice want me to start it off yeah, you can go first. all right so my first piece of advice i have notes on this shit too guys because you know i really thought about this my first piece of advice is to put yourself out there guys and now look i'm i'm a I, i'm speaking to the men right now I'm speaking to the men I know everybody has a thought of college in their mind. You know, they think parties, girls everywhere, you know, getting lit. Like, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, that's what you think. And the only way that's going to happen is if you put yourself out there, guys. Like, I've experienced it. Sometimes I didn't want to talk or you get, you know, a little, you know, shy or whatever. You can't, you can't do that. You can't. Girls aren't going to do it for you guys. Like, they don't want to get rejected. That's really what it, that's really what it comes down to. Yeah. Like... You have to just step up and be a man. I know it's tough, but just look yourself in the mirror. Tell yourself you're that guy. And, you know, put yourself out there. Make new friends. Always be social. Like, just try and, you know, just be out there in a positive way. Always positive. But, you know, just put yourself out there, you know. That's the first step to, you know, getting, you know, potential, you know, flings or whatever you want. You got to put yourself out there first. Have a nice social life. Have a, you know, form a little circle with friends or whatever. You know, meet as many new people as you can. That's my first piece of advice. Talk to people, bro. Just talk to people. Make a get a friend group. Like just talk to as much people as you can so you can figure out like what friend group you want to be a part of and join and all that stuff. And no lie, if you don't know what to do or how to do it, just play basketball, really, if you're a guy. Because that's really how I meet a lot of like my Go to guy the gym. Friends. Yeah. Talk to people on your floor. Like there's gonna be people around. I know it's tough, especially if you're going somewhere where you know nobody. But you're going to college to break out of your shell to become, you know, a better version of yourself. And to do that, you got to, you know, work, work on your mouthpiece, bro. You got to be able to speak. And no cat, these are the people that will support you in your, hopefully, because make sure they're like good people. Don't don't surround yourself around like fake or like bad people. But these are the people that's going to support you in whatever you want to do. With YouTube, if you go on my channel, you can see like my friend group, they're in majority of my videos. Like, or they help me with my, my videos. Like, those are people that I met in college and like our bonds are like unbreakable now. You can meet lifelong friends, you know, you never know. Only time will tell, but you just gotta put yourself out there and you know, take risk. And you know, you never know what will happen. Exactly. You wanna give one now? Yeah, my second uh, piece of advice, this is for like the guys, for like- All mods for the guys, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, like yeah, I'm a guy. Like, like for uh, like how to get girls and stuff. Not how to get girls, but like just girls in general, bro. College girls are like a different breed, bro. Like they're 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 a different breed. They can act innocent and all that, all they want. They're but not. at the end of the day, bro, they're not. They're there for the same thing you're there for, bro. Like they want to party and have fun, and they're so, going to have fun. Like don't yeah. don't think that they're not doing anything because they are. Trust me. Like you'll be like, oh, oh you'll you'll bro. think that she goes to sleep at eleven o'clock. Nah, bro. All of them, bro. Nah. And on top of that, they have more opportunities to Than have us. fun to have fun in college because if you think you're just gonna go to college bro and just walk into every party or like and functions, girls are gonna come up like nah, like just think like 
you're not there's there's a this is how this is how frat parties work bro like like white frat parties like not like not on no like black white it's just really like how it is white frat parties you have to have a certain amount of girls with you to get into that party and you got to pay girls can get into that party for free so like off bat you're it's already harder for guys to get into the party bro so make sure you. i brought girls and been turned down they let the girls go in but they said they, nah, yeah, exactly bro. bro so like you're gonna you're gonna have to make you're gonna have to have girl friends or like just a group of girls to go to parties with but don't think you're just gonna get into every party and then like just go in there have fun bad girls bro that's not how it works bro Especially with the with these white fries, bro. They're and then, bro, and then when you do get in, you know, speaking to you know my guys of color out there, you know, if you're white, this doesn't affect you. You know, you're in you're in a wonderland, go have fun. But when you walk in there, and you're like one of three black guys in the joint, and there's like, I mean, there's a hundred white girls around. You know, that's cool. But you know, it's just like while like it's fun, it just doesn't feel like the best way to you know get girls. I don't know. That's just me. Like I walk in and it's just like a thousand girls standing in a room you know how girls are at a party they're all standing with their friends on their phone you know talking you know i don't know like it just depends you know what type of vibe you're on but you know frat parties either could be your way of getting girls or they could not be your way no you know? no lie some frat parties like they do be fun bro like i go to i go to no, i've had i've went to some where you know where it was lit and the girls if the girls are dancing you're, you're in there have a good time but if the girls are just standing around and they're playing it happy in the usa on some bs you know i was out of there yeah make sure you go to these parties with a little friend group too like yeah if, like, you, if you pull up solo dolo yeah you're not gonna have fun uh, unless, unless you're just like that but you know yeah, i know i need like, to have my boys around yeah, because... it's more fun when you have your guys around but yeah just be prepared to not be able to get into a lot of parties and just they're gonna be different than what you expect but i go to a pwi but our like black side is also very like heavy and and out there too. So I I that's I have the best of both worlds. Like, that uh, so what we just said was if for advice going to white parties. Black parties yeah, is completely yeah, different. You, you already know you just pay some money. You, not not a you, lot too. You, you get in. Sometimes you don't even have to pay. You just get in and yeah, you know your vibe and you know right. you just gotta catch the vibe. Right. But that's for, like the the white parties though. White but, parties it's a little different. You can make the best of both if that's what you have available to you. You know just make the best of it. Always just you know always just have good vibes be positive and you know see where the night takes you and and another thing a lot of these like frat guys they're cool peoples but a lot of them are dickheads so don't let these frat guys test you bro don't don't go around picking fights with them because they're gonna jump you unless you got like your group behind you but don't let them punk you. yeah don't let them punk you they feel big because like they're they got other guys around them like i yeah. I, I stopped going to you know the frat houses like that like the white ones like this just wasn't my cup of tea nah it's not all of them it's some of them like, i'm talking about at umass yeah, yeah, yeah. amherst at my school like they were it's just a lot, a lot a lot of like i don't even know what the word is bro you know when, but when people like group up together they feel like stronger so like they feel like they can talk to you a certain type of way yeah, don't, don't like you would like you wouldn't talk to me crazy if you were like, like yeah yeah. walk in the class but in a party it's like hey yo like what are you doing or get out of here like, yeah don't let them don't let them do that bro like i don't care if it's your house this or that just just have respect for people you get what i'm saying exactly. but at the same time there are a lot of other like cool frat guys like my two boys they're in a frat like and they're cool as hell i met they're like friends they're cool but it's just it just depends if they if they try and punk you don't punk you bro it's all about who you know guys you know yeah like, that's why we said, you know, put yourself out there, you know, build friendships because, you know, you'll run into the right people who, you know, will make your time at college be a great time. Exactly. If you don't do that, you know, you might have a shitty time. Right. So. You got anything else? Yeah. I, want me to just run them, run through them real quick? I got yeah, two more. Just run, just run through them. Yeah. All right. So my first one is don't be thirsty. Enjoy your time. Guys, girls can smell the thirstiness on you. I know we every guy can say that we've been a little bit thirsty at points in our life. You know what happens, guys. But you know, enjoy your time. Do not be thirsty. Just vibe out and you know, and just enjoy your time. Like girls will literally be able to tell that you're like thirsty for them, and you know you really just want to get some or whatever. Like that's not gonna help you get the girl that you're trying to get with. Like, it's just not gonna help you. Like don't don't you agree with that, bro? Like yeah. thirsty ass niggas are not winning, bro. They're not. Let me tell you, it's a lot. Of There's a lot of them thing. out here. Yeah. And Especially my, at my school, bro. Like, not going to lie. Nah, but the girls be going for it, too. But that's just not my But, like, my, time. like, my piece of advice would be, like, it, like, notice. Like, if you're, like, the person who's not thirsty around of guys who are thirsty, you're going to stand out. 
and like girls are like man like all these other guys are like staring at me or doing all this but this guy's over here chilling cool he acts like he's been around a girl before like that like that's just gonna help you you know like you're gonna look cooler to her as long as like if you're just being chill relaxed you know being yourself do not be thirsty guys it's just a bad look and it's not gonna help you girls are gonna talk shit about you when you're not there yeah. like i've heard it he's probably heard it these girls talk guys don't think that you can do some stuff and then they're not gonna talk about it they talk about it so you know but don't be the guy that doesn't say anything at all either like oh let, let the let the conversation like the, the the stuff happen naturally like you're gonna end up talking to her and then when you're talking to her you gotta know what to say and like just be cool about it be yourself you know what i'm saying don't be thirsty but when when the opportunity arises of course little, take, take, take your shot take, say a take your shot right. just don't just don't do too much at the same time though just feel the vibe just feel the vibe exactly bro. and my last piece of advice but this is the biggest advice i could give you guys because i wish i did this when i was a freshman analyze your current situations your next body can be right in front of you let me <laughs> <laughs> i know that sounds crazy but let but let me explain guys look i've literally because guys even though girls will want to hook up with you, they, they're not going to out, like, they're not just going to come out and say it. I've only had one, one to two girls in my lifetime literally just come out say and say, like, they want to get with me. But girls are going to give you hints, guys. You got to pick up on the hints. They might be <laughs> looking at you. They might touch your leg. They might say something slick, and it's on you to pick that up. And then, you know, like you, like you said earlier, you know, take your shot, assess the situation and take your shot. There's so many times where I'm talking to a girl and she said something to me and I peeped that she was, you know, talking that shit, but I didn't react. Cause yeah. I'm like, I, I'm thinking in my head, like, did, like, did she mean that certain way? Girls say what they, I, girls, like, they don't say what they mean, but like they, like what they're, but what, what they're saying, like, just analyze it, think about it for yourself. Like, I just know personally, like, there's so many situations that I just completely, like, didn't acknowledge when I should have. So assess your current options. Anybody you're talking to, you never know. Maybe this girl's feeling you the whole time and you're ignoring her going after somebody else. I've done that as well. Yeah, Where nah. a girl's feeling you and you don't even like acknowledge it because you're chasing somebody else. Nah, that's an important one. Because I was about to say, sometimes I do be knowing, but I be ignoring it because I don't want to entertain it. But, but, bro, cherish the ones that do like you and like are trying are chasing after you because girls aren't like that anymore, bro. So make sure you keep that girl in your corner and you like really like hold on to her. Bro. I literally had a girl in my face every day and I was playing her no mind because I was chasing the baddie upstairs. <laughs> and, and guess what happened when I did that? I got neither. You of got them. neither of them, bro. Neither of them, neither of them bro. When you could have had a solidified. When I, I could have had a solidified one or maybe I could have had both. But like I said, I didn't assess the situation properly right in front of me. So that's why I want to tell you guys out there, just look around, assess your situations. You never know. And you just open your eyes, open your ears, and really just listen to what she's saying. Or if she's making eye contact with you, or if she's smiling, or if she's holding on to the hug a little bit long. Like, you never, like girls aren't just going to hourly say it, but they're going to throw a little sign at you. And it's up to you to catch it. Because if you don't, that's on you. And they're just gonna move on to the next guy. And he's gonna pick up on it, and he's gonna be killing her. And All you're gonna right. be salty. And I don't want you guys to be salty. All right, and then we can go over like the little stuff. Make sure you maintain your grades, of course. You're there for a reason. Oh, we didn't even talk about yeah, any yeah, of that. Like, <laughs> stuff, like, stuff, but like, stuff like that, that should be like, that's, you should that's, know that already. Right? Like, you know obviously, guys, school is the most important thing because that's what we're there for. Exactly. You're also there to have fun, but make sure you stay on top of your grades, exactly. obviously. Bro, really? Like, I'm gonna keep it a meme with y'all, bro. College is just like high school. Bro. College is like, so easy. The work, the it's work is just like, just like high school, bro. Like, just do your work, and you're gonna be fine. If bro. you do your homework, you can get C's on all the tests. Just do the homework. Right. Literally, sit down. It takes you an hour. Exactly, easy. bro. Just knock it and, out. And on top of that, you have way more free time to get. You the have so done, much free time to get the girls. If you just set an hour of your day to just do some homework. And to you know, just make sure you're keeping yourself together. Exactly, That's gonna help bro. you in college. Exactly, People bro. break down because they just don't leave time for themselves and they're just constantly doing too much and that's when people have horror stories at college yeah. there's ways that you can combat that make sure you stay on top of your grades your health your exactly. mental Word. work out bro or like at least just do something be active because you're gonna you're gonna gain it like, you're gonna you're gonna gain i didn't gain life. weight my freshman year but my sophomore year i definitely gained weight i ain't gonna lie to you because like we were inside not doing anything because covid and all that stuff but freshman year i was actually active i didn't gain any weight that freshman 15 is real, feel me? 
So make sure you're just doing your work, staying active. Go to events, go to school events, because sometimes- Be social. Yeah, those are like actually really fun. Those like, are where you can meet your friends or potential girls or whatever. Exactly, those do, school events are fun, bro. Do you want to like, give some tips to the girls, bro? I feel like we didn't, I don't want to, I don't want to just completely ignore them in this video. Girls, just, I don't, I don't know. Just I mean, be I'm safe. Not, just be honestly, safe, bro, like, just be you, cause college is easy for you. I'm yeah, not gonna just, lie. Just be safe, cause there's a lot of like. Be like, yeah, be smart like always. You know, be, of, like, make sure you keep your girls around you. Creeps and stuff out there. There's a lot of mean? bad guys out there. Yeah, it was actually like realistically, watch your drinks and stuff. Like that's not no like, like people do don't say that's scary. Like it's actually true. Watch your drinks and stuff like that. Stay safe. Be have safe. Fun. Always be have smart. like always have somebody who knows where you're, like you're at at every given like any given time. Like those sneaky links by yourself at night. They're not like make sure somebody knows that you're where you're going or something. It doesn't have to be like yeah just, just one person bro it lets you be trust your roommate your girl yeah, whoever yeah, just be safe out here y'all and just enjoy your time have fun in college because y'all got it easier than us not live it up or make the memories that you want to make right. enjoy it but don't don't do guys dirty like I don't, don't be too much of a tree i'm yeah, not saying you can't do your thing but you know don't break my guys hearts out there yeah don't, don't. some of us you know we, we some, some some of us out there so believe in love you know don't do that to them you know right. Just, just, like at least let them know ahead of time if you're just looking to you know do whatever you're trying to do but right. y'all hey, yeah nah real real talk i'm about to really spill hey like, bro i'm about to spill some real shit right now hey bro. man y'all y'all go to college bro and y'all have so much more like high tier options like, are, you, are you going there like, i didn't want to like, go i'll, go, nah, there. Nah, I'll like, go there with you i'm really i'm just really trying to like help them out though like like it's not like high school or like being back in your hometown you go to college you have so much guys like look I'm, I'm talking to straight girls right now because that's really all yeah. i can talk about but but it's just so much more options so much more guys from different places that that look good got something going for themselves just like keep a level head because y'all go to college and start wilding because y'all never experienced so much like diversity and options before take just, your time slow just, down because <laughs> y'all be wilding especially at rome bro y'all be bugging slow really. down like, be bugging, you got dude. time you got four years you don't need to catch all your bodies in the first three exactly months. like relax bro. Like, like have some dignity some you feel me like that goes for y'all guys too stop being treacherous too y'all be hitting anything bro i'm not talking don't do that because girls are going to talk about that too and you don't want to get you don't want to get the rapper for hitting anything Exactly, you don't want that either. Yeah, bro. We just dropped a little knowledge on y'all. Drop some gems throughout the video, you know. Or, pick up on them, or you know the you know the basics. Like go to go to the events and do your work and all that. We don't need to go over all that stuff. Just you're there for a reason. Make connections. Do your work. Graduate. Stick it out. I need to see a lot of. Them. I need to see more of my young black men going to college and, and finishing. Cause college is actually really fun, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Just. Go there, keep a level head, do what you gotta do, have fun, and yeah. I think that's good, bro. All right, right y'all, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, subscribe. If y'all like the video or want to know anything else, just comment below. I always just respond to my comments. Like, you know I mean? give us the next video you guys want us to, you guys want us to do. Whatever you want to see next, let them know. Yes, sir. If you guys want me back? I'll be back too. All right. We gonna see you, LD out.